Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The FIFA 22 market was cheaper than ever this last year, with especially prices at the beginning of the game being so cheap that we all lost so many coins. What I want to do today in the video is look at some price predictions I have for FIFA 23 Ultimate Team as we are about to get on our Ultimate Team accounts for the first time in the next seven to eight days. Whether you're getting on with the web app or early access, we are going to be on a brand new market. And I think that price could be cheap this year in FIFA 23 as well. I think EA liked the market last year in 22. I think they'll keep it pretty similar this year in FIFA 23. So with that being said, I want to take a look at a lot of players today. Some of the most popular players like Mbappe, Messi, Ronaldo, some other lower tier players like Renato Sanchez, maybe Eder Militao, and look through how much I think they could cost in the first week or so on this game. So if you're excited for the video today, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's get right into it and talk about some prices because we've got a lot of uh, FIFA player ratings released, right? We're still learning about a few and even one of the players we'll look at today hasn't had a confirmed rating yet. It's only a leaked rating from earlier in August when people were able to get on the game somehow on Xbox. Uh, of course, EA making mistakes early on. But what I want to mention to kind of just cover first is these prices we're going to talk about today on a lot of these cards are going to be first week prices. Prices that in the first week of the game we should see on the web app, on the early access, because of course, after that and as we know prices are going to be dropping all year long 1.7 mil for Mbappe at his peak a few months later he's under a million coins right we're going to take that into account today these price predictions are going to be for the early early game and what this will be helpful for is kind of allowing you to set a, a goal or a target of maybe how many coins you need to have uh, and save up for and maybe even how much work you need to put in, or if you're going to spend FIFA points, how many FIFA points you're going to spend to maybe get enough coins to buy some of these players that you want. So let's talk about, again, we have so many downgrades with the ratings in FIFA 23 this year, especially on the top tier, right? We've got guys like Neymar and Ronaldo and Messi having big time attribute stat downgrades uh, on their cards and there's many reasons for that we've talked about a lot of that and I think it's going to impact their prices a lot as well let's start with Cristiano Ronaldo how much is Ronaldo going to cost this year in FIFA last year his first year being on Manchester United again and especially his card in FIFA looking really good 87 pace 88 dribbling he started off at 1.7 to 1.1.5 1. 1. to 1.7 million coins was that first week first two week price for Ronaldo this year it's going to look way different in my opinion for this card in my opinion this year Cristiano Ronaldo I'm just going to shoot the price right out at you I think this card is going to end up being under a million coins because if you think about it last year he was the clear-cut number one striker in the Premier League he still has the highest base overall shooting statistic at 92 but he now has Erling Holland and of course the in real life hype of Erling Holland getting many a special cards at the beginning of FIFA 23 most likely as well to compete with him and they've got other great strikers in the game now Lewandowski Benzema looking great other Premier League cards like Hyunmin Son might be position changeable to a center forward or a striker card in game and people will, of course want to play a card like Son at striker I think that for that reason and of course the big downgrade on Ronaldo's card he is going to end up being somewhere around eight to nine hundred thousand coins in the first couple of weeks and it's crazy because before FIFA 22 Ronaldo was always the most expensive player in FIFA I mean you go back to like FIFA 20 FIFA 19 FIFA 18 Ronaldo was always that guy because he's just very high rated hard to pack and always really good in the game and we have a new number one in town last year was the first year that Ronaldo was kind of had competition and, and was actually overtaken by Mbappe very early on as one of the most expensive players is the most expensive non icon or promo item in the game. Golden Bappe, let's talk about him next. What could his price be this year? Last year, he was 1.7 million coins, of course. Very popular in FIFA 21. Maintained that in FIFA 22. This was like the guy that everybody was aiming for as a gold card to get in their teams. Of course, Mbappe this year looks cracked again. He's going to have a great card. One of the joint highest rated players in FIFA 23. I think this year though, with the PSG links being so important, and we're going to talk about this for a couple of the players here in a second, 
I think this Mbappe card, especially with his hype and with Ronaldo and Messi and Neymar and all the other top tier cards that had the most insane stats before getting big downgrades, this Mbappe maintaining his insane stats. I think that Mbappe's card this year is going to be over 2 million coins. I think he really is because besides an icon or maybe like Hero Ginola, like what card is going to come close to this guy in the early stages of the game? I think this is the guy. I think he's going to be 2 to 2.2 million coins early on. Also, as we're going through a lot of these players, we're going to start rapid firing through a ton of players today. Let me know down in the comments who you want to see get reviewed. We're going to do multiple of these price prediction videos. So put me some names down in the comments and we'll go through a lot more players in the coming videos. Now let's keep it with the PSG theme. Let's talk about Messi. 91 rated Messi, of course, big downgrade, big pace downgrade. And similar to Ronaldo, I think his price is going to take a really big hit as well. Last year on FIFA 22, gold Messi was around 800 to 900,000 coins and 700k on the Xbox in their early game stage. Now, another aspect of the market that's obviously changing this year is the cross platform aspect. And, you know, that remains to be seen how in depth and how crazy that's going to affect things like supply and demand on the market, but with a big time pace downgrade for Messi, but still with the PSG links being pretty hype, I think Messi is going to be cheaper this year, but I also think he's going to maintain some value because of those PSG links. My fearless forecast for Lionel Messi in FIFA 22, sorry, FIFA 23, I'm going to say this Messi card is going to end up being about... 5 to 50 to 600,000 coins in that first week. Think about it. You might only have to have 2 million coins to buy Messi and Ronaldo in FIFA 23, but with those same 2 million coins, you might only be able to afford one Mbappe, which is kind of crazy to think about. Now, one more PSG player, a part of the big three, of course, Neymar, 89 rated, another big downgrade for him in terms of pace a across the whole card. Looks a lot worse than last year. I think that Neymar this year is going to take a big price drop like Messi, like Ronaldo did from a 91 rated with 91 pace and being about a million coins around the same price point as Messi was last year. I think this Neymar is going to be around the same point as Messi this year as well, but actually a little bit more expensive. I said 550 to 600 for the Messi card. I'm going to say about 600 to 750k for the Neymar card. Again, I really just think the PSG links this year, when you get to the upper echelon of players, before you start to think about promo cards and informs and maybe even some foot heroes and icons, these are the types of players you're going to be fitting in your team. Neymar, Mbappe, and Messi, and I really do think that that Neymar card is still going to be very good this year, but of course, as we have talked about, he's got competition for the best left wing card in the game. Now, there's a lot of options, but specifically the best Brazilian left wing card, we've been talking a lot about this 86 rated Vinny Jr. Flashed onto the scene last year in real life and in FIFA with insane cards, his early game informs, his player of the month, his tots card at the end, insane and saints cards for this Vinny Jr. Very overpowered at FIFA. He's going to be cracked this year as well. Still going to have those five-star skills, not going to have the five-star five-star, but will have the four-star weak foot we would imagine for Vinny Jr. Now, this is one thing I want to talk about with Vinny. It's hard to really look at last year on FIFA 22. And again, you've seen me using a lot of FIFA 22 prices to compare for these guys. Vinny this year, uh, I look back to his 83 rated inform from last year. It started off at 150K, had a crazy rise all the way to 350, 360, and then dropped off like crazy. But especially with the Real Madrid links and how important the chemistry system is this year in learning how to get 33 out of 33 chemistry on your full team. What I kind of want to show you in a second here is how it's going to be pretty easy to fit Vinny in a team, but I think there's going to be a couple of key players you're going to have to have if you want to get him in your squad. I think this Vinny this year is going to be around probably 300 to 350, maybe 400,000 coins in the first couple of weeks. Seriously, it's all about the hype here, guys. I really think he's going to be around that price. It's hard to look at his informs and kind of give a guesstimation of what that might be. His second inform was 300K, uh, but that was in November, right? And of course, this gold card is going to start off in the game. No informs for him unless maybe uh, today in the game versus Atletico Madrid, he goes off and does something crazy for uh, maybe Team of the Week one worthy performance. Uh, but, you know, I think three to 400K for Vinny is a pretty safe bet. We're going to keep the Real Madrid train rolling here for a second and talk about a really interesting card, Kareem the Dream Benzema. Can you believe that at the start of FIFA 22, this guy was 15K? 
literally, literally he was fodder at the beginning of FIFA 22 because he was always seen as too slow and not usable in teams. Well, all that has changed with his brand new FIFA 23 card, finally eclipsing the 80 pace threshold, which makes his card look good and, and usable. Does it make it look insane though? I don't think it makes him look insane, and that's why I think his price isn't going to be that crazy, right? He is going to be a top, let's say, five striker in the game, but his pace being only 80 does lack him a little bit when it comes to, like, the top tier of the most top tier. So, in my opinion, this Benzema card this year is probably going to be around 150,000 coins. He is 91 rated. He's going to be very hard to pack. He's going to be pretty rare in the market. But I think that even if you think about the, the Real Madrid links, I think people are going to use other cards to link Vinny instead of Benzema. I think they could say, okay, I'm not going to use Benzema. I'm going to use a more overpowered striker than him um, and then still be able to get Vinny in the team. And I'm going to show you a couple ways how people might do that. Now, let's talk about Eder Militao. This is going to be how everybody gets Vinny into their teams. And this is going to be one of the most in-demand center backs at the start of FIFA 23. 86 pace, 85 defense, 82 physical. Massive upgrade and massive hype. Basically, this would be the equivalent of a perfect link to Vinny, right? In the old chemistry system. And a perfect link in FIFA 23 between these two guys. Check this out. If you put both Vinny and Ferland Mendy, or, sorry, not Ferland Mendy. If you put Militao in a team and you look at what this does, boom. Two chemistry points instantly for both of those players because they both, you know, two players in the same club gets you a chem point and two players in the same nation gets you a chemistry point as well. Watch when I add Ferland Mendy as a left back. They are maxed out on chemistry. And if I add one more French player for Ferland Mendy, let's add Nkunku in here. Very high player to start the year. Boom. Mendy, Militao, Vinny all on max chem. And then let's say you want to start building out with some other Bundesliga players and get some links to Nkunku or some other French cards. You can very easily do that and get very easy chemistry. So I think that that Vinicius and Eder Militao link is going to be so OP this year, so overpowered. that I think that with the stat increase, the rating increase, 84 rated, going to make him a little bit less rare in packs. He's pretty hard to pack how it is already. I think that Militao is going to be the most expensive he has ever been. Last year, he was 45,000 coins. But again, like I said, being that Brazil Real Madrid with all the link potential and hype there, I think this year he is going to be 100,000 coins. He's giving me like a couple years ago Varane vibes. Seriously. Uh, Varane's kind of falling out of favor in, in with his rating. We're going to talk about that in a second. This card to me looks disgusting. I think so many people are going to want to have him in their squad. And especially with the links that we just looked at here, he's going to be very, very popular in the early stages. Now, speaking of Ferland Mendy, who is also in this team, I'm going to look at his price very consistently around 100K. Last year, between 100 to 125,000 coins before, of course, dropping off a lot throughout the rest of the year. I think it's going to be a same similar year for Ferland Mendy. Speaking of a guy who's hard to pack, this guy's almost like a dinosaur in packs. Like, even though he's 83 rated, you're like, okay, he's going to get packed a decent amount. No, it's the exact opposite. And it probably is because his value is so much. I think Ferland Mendy is going to be even more expensive because of those links that we just looked at this year in FIFA 23. I think he's going to be between 125 to 150,000 coins. And again, if you think about the most elite left backs to start the year, you've got guys like Cancelo, Teo Hernandez, Alfonso Davies, and Ferland Mendy. He is a top three most meta and overpowered left back to start the year. Non-icon or hero, of course. Uh, that, that card to me, 150k in these first couple weeks of FIFA 23. Let's keep moving on. Let's talk about that Varane card like I was mentioning because this has been like the most overpowered center back for the past couple of years and everybody goes out and trying to get this card, especially if they're running Prem teams. But this year, the France links are going to be pretty important and he's got them, right? But... 300,000 coins last year for arguably the most meta and the most popular center back to start the game last year in FIFA 22. He got a big downgrade though. This isn't an official release card because this is from the early leaks that we talked about in the beginning of, uh, or at the, the end of August when people were getting on the Xbox version of FIFA. But those leak uh, ratings were actually pretty close to spot on. This is what Varane's card could look like. Obviously not as good. He did get a bit of a pace downgrade, just a small downgrade, minus two overall, and minus one pace, minus two defense, minus two physical. But I think that's going to have a pretty big impact on his price this year. So this 84 rated Varane card, 
I have down in my notes only about 100 to 150,000 coins. And that's also because we've had some other really, really nice uh, French center backs like Koundé come up, the Militao, the Tamori. There's more competition for an insane level center back and even more center backs in the Prem like Koulibaly. We're going to talk about his price here in just a second as well. Actually, let's do that right now. Why not? Kalidou Koulibaly transferring to Chelsea. I mean, it's you think about the top three Premier League center backs. You've got Van Dijk. You've got Koulibaly, you've got Varane. You could throw Ruben Diaz in there, but he just does not have the pace. That's the problem with him, right? I've got Koulibaly in here at around 100,000 coins. Last year, he was a very cheap beast at 30K in the beginning stages of the game in the Serie A. Serie A is always undervalued. That's something to remember about the start of FIFA. But since he's moving to the Prem, if you're a lot of people in FIFA just try to build the best Premier League team right off the bat, this guy's in your squad, if, especially if you're going Van Dijk and Koulibaly at center back. I think with his higher rating and with his new Chelsea links, which are very valuable, his nation links aren't that valuable unless you're trying to I don't know how you, what kind of hybrid you're going to make with Senegalese players that often, besides a couple few specific ones. But with those Chelsea links for Conte and some other, maybe some pretty good players like, I don't know what a bombing starter rating is going to look like, but specifically Conte for sure. You know, I think this Koulibaly is going to be around 100,000 coins. Big new addition to the Premier League in defense. Now, speaking of Premier League, let's move on to arguably the most hyped Premier League player at the moment, Erling Braut Holland. And, you know, we're going to do a prediction for his gold card price right now. But here's what I've been thinking. I even tweeted about this yesterday. This man is on an absolute tear. He has got not only a player of the month card coming soon. That's confirmed, by the way. He has won the Premier League player of the month for August. So what I want to do is I want to look at a price prediction for his player of the month, his gold card, and he could even get an inform, right? He scored a goal in Man City's game yesterday in their win, the 3-0 win. Um, he's getting a once to watch card. So there could potentially be two to three versions of Holland in the first couple weeks of FIFA. And I tweeted out jokingly yesterday, I said, when's this guy's gold card ever going to be in packs if he keeps it up at this rate? Again, it's going to be crazy. But again, with that being said, cards that are out of packs, when they have a special card in packs, like a team of the week, if we look at Vinny's gold card last year at the beginning of FIFA, it was like max price 30K because he had that team of the week one in form. Then his price quickly dropped off very fast, right? I think that Erling Holland's card, especially with the ones to watch going out of packs for that, the player of the month, you know, that's an interesting scenario. We don't know too much about SBC yet, how much it's going to cost. It should be pretty expensive. Um, if he does get a team of the week one card in 89 rated, uh, then I think his player that, or his gold card is going to be obviously like extinct. You're like 400, 500,000 coins, maybe more. But seriously, when the market calms down a little bit, I think this Holland card is going to be 300K. I think it's going to be a 300K card just because of the hype. He's a huge player in game, and he's just going to finish goals for you. And I again, it really does depend on what the meta of the game is. If people like the short, very agile, dribbling, left stick dribbling type strikers, or if it's a crossing meta, or if it, you know, the big strong body can hold up in the box, you can pass it in take a dribble and just shoot and, and maybe get some goals that way with strength being the main way of scoring. He can be very overpowered. He was very popular at the beginning of the year last year. So it's going to be interesting to see what his gold card price is, depending on what other specials he gets. But this player of the month, man, I mean, think about Cristiano Ronaldo's early player of the month at the beginning of FIFA 22. EA is going to make it very expensive. I think to get this Erling Holland done, I have a price written down here at 1.2 million coins, maybe even a little bit higher. One mil to 1.2 mil coins. There's really not no knowing about what this SBC price could be because a player of the month, let's say he doesn't get any informs. Let's go. It's, let's say it's gold card. He gets a player of the month and then the ones to watch. I mean, a player of the month, Holland would go to a 90 rated card because under 90 rated cards, when they get a player of the month, they get a plus two. That's been EA's rule in the past. So a 90 rated Holland in the first week of FIFA, like EA is going to make this guy really expensive, especially with all the IRL hype. So that's why I'm saying a million coins, even though fodder at the beginning of the game is pretty cheap, they're going to make it pretty hard to get him done. Uh, so just keep an eye out for that. But again, what we're doing and talking through all this stuff is just giving you guys some ideas and kind of just creating some conversations around how many coins you might need to acquire these insane cards 
early on. Now, there's so many players that we're going to look at here. We're almost done, but I have to have two different two different web browsers pulled up. So here's the second one, right? I want to rapid fire through some of these guys here at the end. Christopher Nkunku, one of the biggest and most hyped French players in the last year of football with an insane year for Leipzig. He got a big upgrade. He got the five-star skill move upgrade as well. His card was dirt cheap at the beginning of the year last year, 81 rated. It was like, again, not that good. He had a lot of special cards, player of the month. He kind of, you know, bursted onto the scene. I think this 86 rated Nkuku this year is going to be the budget Mbappe with the five-star skills. He might only have a three-star weak foot, but 88 pace, 88 dribble. He even has good defending stats. Like you could play this guy as a box to box if you really wanted to, depending on his work rates. So versatile, French links, five-star skills, really hype IRL and last year in FIFA. I think this guy is going to be about two to 300,000 coins because of that. Kingsley Coman, another five-star skill addition to FIFA 23 in the Bundesliga as well. There's a lot of great left mids, right? If we think about it, you've got Coman, you've got Mane now in the Bundesliga. You've got other great cards like Hyunmin Sun. Again, we've already looked at Neymar and at Vinny. There's a lot of competition on that left side for sure for great attackers, but I still think with a uh, five-star skill upgrade, based off of last year, he was around 40 to 50,000 coins. I think Kings of the Coman is going to end up being around 60 to 80K this year with that hype and the French links as well. Last two cards to talk about before we do more. Again, drop down below in the comments if you want to uh, want me to look at any more of these. We're going to go to two cheap cards. Renato Sanchez, 80 rated, but PSG. Last year, he was extinct. He went extinct again at 27K, and then EA kept updating his price ranges, and after a couple days, his price just absolutely tanked because, again, the supply was mad, and that's something that we're going to talk about a lot in the early stages of FIFA 23 is like FIFA 22, there's going to be a lot of crazy supply. But with the PSG links and with a even better card than last year, basically, I mean, it's about the same card. Let's be honest, not better, about the same minus one pace. But the PSG links are so huge. I think that's actually going to have a positive impact impact on Renato Sanchez's price. I'm saying 30 to 40,000 coins in FIFA 23 in those first couple of days. And Alan St. Maximin as well, a rating boost. A bit of a stat downgrade on pace only. His dribbling went up, massive shooting boost, which makes his card look so much better aesthetically. Instead of seeing 60s shooting, you see 73. So 90 pace is still there. That's nice. I think Alan St. Maximin, a pretty nice first two-week card is a left-sided Premier League attacker, very overpowered with pace, somewhere around 30,000 coins so drop down in the comments who you want to see more in these videos what kind of players you want to see one a couple last two things if you're going to footbin right now they just added this thing called fiva 23 upgrades and downgrades and it shows all of the cards that are in the game that have been official ratings released already go ahead and click through some of these it's kind of cool good work by footman on this stuff really nice to see reese james plus 12 shooting some of the stuff that you maybe missed bonucci minus 10 pace uh, Kunde plus three pace. That's maybe a card we'll look at in the next video. Carvel Hall plus two pace, minus one overall. Kind of boosting the pace on those fullbacks again we see, right? That's pretty common. Um, so that's one thing I would say if you're looking through a lot of these ratings and, and figuring out how to start a team, go on this flipping page. It's under the players tab drop down. FIFA 23 upgrades and downgrades. Take a look there. Also, Hopefully we get the whole database today on Sunday. That was an early leak from about a week ago from foot camp. Uh, I know that some of this stuff has changed, but hopefully on today, on, on the 18th, today on Sunday, we get that full database with all of the FIFA 23 players and we can start to build some starter teams and, and look at a lot of investing opportunities on the high tier, on the low tier, and everywhere in between. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy it, smash a, th a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below. If you, again, if you have any questions, thoughts, comments, or who you want to see featured in another Price Predictions video. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.